What's good, ES Marshy? Today, we are gonna try to feel something. Let's look at how to make an emotional trap beat like a Rod Wave, Polo G type in Ableton Live. Let's go. Emotions, feelings, pain, struggle, success. Let's break down everything I did in this project. I'm gonna play through the melody first. We must start with this piano. It is from the augmented grand from the like analog lab family. It's this preset right here. Uh, these settings if you want them. This is the pattern here. I need to fold this down. All right, fold. So it sounds really good all together, but it's super simple when it comes down to it. Basically one of the feelings that gives these songs like so much feeling is using like a super familiar chord progression, almost just like a pure poppy four chord progression. So that's all we're doing. We're using a simple progression and then I'm basically just like using the notes in these chords and creating a top line on top just clicking things in trial and error i'm no like keys playing expert but that's all it is find your progression and like you know use a progression that's already been used and do something that works and then just write your little top line on top and it can come out nice like this and then as far as processing on the piano like the thing you want to do is make it sound more realistic than just static MIDI notes. So, you know, just slide things off the grid a little bit. And then I use this Ableton Velocity device, uh, just changing the range and the random to make it sound a little more like it's played. EQ out some of the lows and then send to a reverb. As you can see here, I've sent this amount of dry wet signal to a reverb and a delay on these two return tracks. Here's the reverb and here's the delay. And that piano layer is just supported by a little pad playing the same chords. From the same bank, 80s Heartbreak. And then only two more layers. It's super, super simple, but it creates so much of an atmosphere. The next is the guitar. That's from the Electric Sunburst contact bank. It's uh, playing this preset and then it's this uh, pattern right here. And then you just turn like your voicings, you can do all these different voicings, you just turn it off so it like plays the notes that you're telling it to play. And just play the same chords with no bass note and it comes out like this. Send it to some reverb and delay just like the others. Cut out the lows and then it sounds lovely in the mix. Last layer is the vocal. A lot of these songs in this like pain beats genre, one of the things that takes their beat kind of to the next level is just like a vocal sample. This one is just playing these two notes, which is coming from a contact bank called Vocalize 3, or you know, if you want to pronounce it correctly, go ahead. But the only thing I'm changing is it's just one of these phrases, and then you choose the two notes in the piano roll, and then you just move this middle knob, and that's kind of like how much emphasis you're giving the sound. It's sent to the same reverb and delays. It's got uh, some of the highs cut off and as well as more of the lows cut off, 300 hertz. And then it's sent to Valhalla Shimmer, 36% mix to give it that big washed out sound. So all together. Drums next. Here's with the 808 included. So in my mind, key here is be super simple with your drums and just support your your chord progression, your melody. Like that's what these songs are all about. Like, you know, have the trap bounce and like the hard hitting 808, but don't like do too much with your hi-hats or anything like that. In fact, the hi-hat in this song is literally just a two-step. Add in the clap. Offbeat snare. Kick. 
a super simple roll at the end with the offbeat snare and then let's look at the kick pattern And if you're gonna do a bunch of kicks or 808s in a row, just make sure you lower the velocity down low. So let's add in the 808 and take a look at the pattern. So again, we're just following the bass notes of our chords and just playing. Like you've heard that chord progression before and the you know add in the little sauce here and there that you know you do as a producer so here we got a little slide and then at the end we got the little roll that 808 is just one i found in the heat up 3 vst and then i added like a good amount of uh sound toys decapitator on the end setting just moving this knob up just to give it that like you know real distorted sound sounds like you know kind of like a spins but like a, a lot more distorted and if you just want to use like a totally normal spins that's a super valid for this style too and then all that's left to think about is like arrangement of the song so if i could give like my most important tip on arrangement in the world like is just to steal it and use other songs arrangement that work like it makes so much sense so that's what i did with this song I deleted the reference for now, like I don't know why I did that, but that's how we got here. Basically it was like another Polo G song. And so one thing we needed was like an extra like sub bass that's not the 808 for this section. So we just start with the melody playing by itself. We have a little cutout here and then in comes sub bass and like the beginning of the drums, but not the full thing. different sub bass and then we're gonna do another cutout and then hit the main chorus and don't forget like effects and stuff in this song we only have the one right here just a nice reverse into the crash so we play this part and then we do a little drop out and then go back in But notice, you know, what happens here is the the filter comes in or the EQ, we're just do, using an EQ. We're taking out the highs above 3K Hertz uh, to, you know, just let that first verse happen. So here's the chorus, melody's louder, and then first verse comes in, more space for it. We also don't have the vocal yet. The vocal comes back now something every eight bars every four bars eight bars drop out into kind of a little breakdown here no 808 only the kick then break all the way down back into the piano and just kind of build back and go from there Thanks for hanging out. I got tons of new stuff planned, so please consider just dropping a like on the video and subscribing if you're new. Go click the link to one of these other videos if you wanna keep watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.